All right, MJ, thanks for being here. Andrew, go ahead with your question. MJ, you were the first um, NC State true freshman quarterback to start tonight, I think, since Philip Rivers. Obviously, there's been a pretty rich history of uh, quarterbacks here at NC State. What does it mean to you to be a part of that? I mean, it's a great feeling. That's one of the reasons I committed here. Uh, just a lot of great quarterbacks came through this program. And uh, I'm trying to be a part of one of them and try to get to their level one day. So it is a special feeling uh, to be recognized as one of those true freshman quarterbacks starting here. So, you know, just taking each day at a time and just keep working. Luke, go ahead with your question. MJ, your teammates have, have mentioned how much energy you have and how much enthusiasm you have for this game. Where does that come from? Uh, just come from the inside, really, uh, just trying to boost my teammates up. Cause I know if I have energy, everybody else around me is going to have energy. That's one of the things Coach Doran told me uh, last week was just bring that juice because the whole team is going to uh, revolve around you. So that's one thing uh, I really take pride in is making sure I have energy during, during the good, during the bad, just making sure I keep the same energy throughout the whole game, no matter what happens. One follow-up, if that's okay, uh, the fans, I think, fed off that energy as well after the game. You did a lap and gave fans high fives. How would you describe that experience after the game? I mean, that experience is amazing. Just those fans believing in me. Uh, for I'm just going out there playing for them, just playing for my parents, playing for the Lord. Thank you. For, thank you for him. Uh, just praying, staying humble too. But it is a special experience going out there, hearing my name getting chanted in front of a whole stadium, and then going out there and high-fiving them. It's just great. Go ahead, David. MJ, kind of a weird but are you 18 or are you 19? I'm 19 years old. Okay. Um, have you had any time to really take stock of what's happening to your 19-year-old self right now, or is it just day-to-day, -day, like you said? Uh, just like just like I said, like day-to-day, -day, I try not to take, take it in on a one time. Just, you know, keep praying, keep my head down, keep working, because all I can do it. Like I said uh, last time, my parents did a good job at keeping me humble, uh, making sure I stay level-headed throughout, throughout it all to make sure I don't get uh, too high or too low. So I can be the best I can be for my team. Go ahead, Corey. MJ, I wanted to ask you about that first touchdown pass that you had, obviously, the throw to um, – or, well, no, actually, it was the second one to Daryl Jones that you had, uh, where Daryl's kind of scrambling in the back of the end zone. You were able to get uh, around there. How big was it to have him be able to, to continue that route and try to get open for you? Uh, and what happened on that throw? Because it looks like you you tried to underthrow it so that he could get around the DB, right? Yeah, I mean, man, it was huge. I mean, I know that play, we repped that in practice. All we really had in, in the game plan last week, but we didn't run it. But I knew this week, all I had to do was give Daryl some time to get open. And I knew I just had to give him a ball. I didn't want to try to overthrow it, try to put too much on, try to put air on. I knew I just had to give him a ball that he can catch. And I knew Daryl was going to do the rest from there. So uh, I thank you. I thank him for that. Thank you, Daryl. for that getting my second touchdown. Thank you. And how critical is it to have so many experienced wide receivers and so many experienced pass catchers? Obviously, the you know the impact of you, Michael Allen, uh, and Terrell Timmons has been huge. But how big is it to have to those guys uh, to kind of lean upon too? Man, it's great because I have a whole bunch of trust in them. I know that all I got to do is put the ball in the right place for them, and they're gonna make plays. I don't, I don't got to do too much. They make my job kind of easier sometimes. I know I don't gotta. I don't got to do too much. I just got to do my job and what Coach Beck said, deliver the ball to the open receiver. So having them know where they're going to be, like they tell me come on the sidelines sometimes, they're like, hey, if this happens again, I'm going to be here. So I know like them, like their mindset is a lot is a lot more experienced than me. So I can just go out there and give them the ball and just let them make plays. It's MJ. Yes, sir. Luke, go ahead. You know, in addition to the offense having a, a good game tonight, your defense forced three turnovers. How much of a well-balanced effort this from from all phases of the game tonight yeah like i said it's team effort at the end of the day we as long as we all do our jobs the defense they did i've heard the offense we did teams they they played outstanding i mean all that it just takes it just takes everybody to do their job and just do it one play at a time nothing too special even if something doesn't go our way to just it's all about the next play the next play is going to be the best play so that's really the mindset you got to have anything else for mj All right, it looks like that's it. Thank you all. Thanks, Thank you. And that concludes.